In the realm of paranormal investigation, hardly any names ring as deeply as Lorraine Warren's. The notable things about Lorraine is, of course, her devotion to unraveling the secrets of the supernatural, and her career includes many mysterious cases. However, maybe none of them had such a captivating effect on the public as that of Annabelle, the ordinary-looking doll whose tale goes beyond the realm of just belief. Lorraine Warren was born on the 31st of January 1927 in Bridgeport, Connecticut, USA, which was where her love for the supernatural began. Blessed with psychic powers, she had a specific affinity to energies that exist in this world, something she was to discover as her destiny later on. Lorraine was hand in hand with her husband Ed, whom she married in 1945, on the journey of a lifetime to search for truth, resulting in a legacy that continues to inspire truth seekers of every generation. Annabelle's story has its origins in 1970, when a young nurse was given the doll as a gift. Unbeknownst to her, this seemingly innocent act would initiate a series of events that would surpass any reasonable explanation. Reports of unexplained movements and creepy messages began to circulate, implying that there was something eerie beneath the doll's innocent face. When rumors about the paranormal nature of the doll began to circulate, the caretakers of it turned to the knowledge and skills of Ed and Lorraine Warren. Renowned for their ability to solve mysteries of the supernatural, the Warrens set out on a potentially dangerous adventure into the unknown as part of their single-minded pursuit to confront the forces that lay beyond. The inquiries into Annabelle by the Warrens brought to light the spine-chilling discoveries that reverberated around the paranormal research community. Using spiritual intervention and exact analysis, they discovered the existence of an inhuman being that was once using the doll as a medium to implement its evil projects. It all started as a seemingly harmless possession, but then it transformed into a world of darkness and misery. The Warrens claimed that the ghost of a dead girl named Annabelle inhabited the doll. Armed with indomitable spirit, the Warrens courageously battled the evil entities that intended to sow disorder and panic. They undertook an exorcism which broke the bond between the spirit and that of the living. However, their journey was far from over, as they faced treacherous waters that were full of danger and uncertainty. It seems that it wasn't the ghost of a dead girl which inhabited the doll, but the demon. Annabelle's chilling tale of possession and malevolence served as the inspiration for the creation of the Annabelle movie franchise. The eerie events surrounding the doll, as documented by Ed and Lorraine Warren, provided a rich tapestry of supernatural lore upon which filmmakers could draw. From the mysterious origins of the doll to the harrowing exorcism conducted by the Warrens, each aspect of Annabelle's story offered a wealth of material for cinematic adaptation. Through the lens of the movies, audiences were transported into a world of terror and suspense in which the line between reality and nightmare blurred with each spine-tingling scene. Today, the legacy of Annabelle resides within the hallowed halls of the Warren's Occult Museum, a testament to the unseen forces that shape our world. Under the watchful eye of Tony Spera, Lorraine's son-in-law and guardian of the museum, Annabelle remains confined within her glass case, a potent reminder of the dangers that lurk beyond the boundaries of our understanding. Central to the Warren's approach to paranormal investigation was a blend of scientific rigor and spiritual intuition. Drawing upon decades of experience and a deep well of knowledge, they employed a multifaceted strategy, encompassing everything from forensic analysis to seances and exorcisms. This holistic approach allowed them to uncover hidden truths that eluded conventional methods, shedding light on the darkest corners of the supernatural realm. In 1952, the Warrens started the New England Society for Psychic Research, NESPR, the oldest ghost hunting organization in New England. They've authored numerous books on paranormal phenomena and their personal investigations into the tales about them, saying that they've investigated more than 10,000 cases Given time constraints, this seems an exaggeration. The Warrens were one of the first to investigate the Amityville incident, along with the NESPR's official website, Vivaglam Magazine, and others. Lorraine and Ed stated that the organization conducted investigations with a broad range of people, such as medical doctors, researchers, police officers, nurses, college students, and church members. 
Though the Warrens' methods may have been controversial, their impact on the field of paranormal research cannot be overstated. Through their tireless effort, they brought attention to phenomena that had long been dismissed as mere superstition, paving the way for a new era of scientific inquiry into the mysteries of the unknown. Their legacy lives on in the countless lives they touched and the countless minds they inspired, a testament to the enduring power of curiosity and courage in the face of the unexplained. While Lorraine Warren may have departed this world, she died on the 18th of April, 2019, aged 92. Her husband, Ed, in 2006, her legacy endures as a beacon of hope in the face of darkness. Her unwavering courage and unyielding faith continues to inspire all who dare to explore the mysteries that lie beyond the veil. As we reflect on her extraordinary life and the indelible mark she left upon the world, it appears that the greatest mysteries aren't found in the shadows, but in the depths of the human spirit. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.